Good morning. This is Pastor Steve. Uh, on Monday mornings, I'm joining you for a liturgy of morning prayer. But during the midweek, like right now, uh, on September the 9th, which is a Wednesday, I do an informal time of um, devotion. And I appreciate you joining me as I share with you a little bit today. I've been thinking about a prayer that I love from the Upper Room Worship Book, which is a resource uh, for God's church from our Spirituality Center in Methodism at the Upper Room in Nashville. And it's a, a, a morning prayer that is so much of a part of me now that I have it memorized. And it goes like this. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in your world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peaceably with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I've been thinking this morning about that phrase, new every morning is your love. New every morning is your love. Is God's love new for you every morning? Well, here's the funny thing. It's not new, actually. That's about as old as old can be, the love of God. The most common um, phrase in the, the book of Psalms is his steadfast love endures forever. And God is a God whose love endures forever. Long before you were a twinkle in your mother's eye, long before our nations were born, long before civilization as we know it, the love of God was active and uh, pouring itself out on, on this world. For God is love, the scripture says. Uh, so there's nothing new about it. It's very, very old. Yet we do experience it anew. I think about my wife, Sandy. I love to listen to her pray. And one of my favorite phrases she loves to say when she prays is, Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. And it's just a reminder to me that new every morning is the love of God. It's not new, but we experience it like it, it is. Do you experience the love of God new and fresh every day? I have a friend named Dick Esslinger who uh, was largely responsible for much of the liturgy in our present Methodist hymnal, United Methodist hymnal for uh, Holy Communion and many other scholars like him. And I, I've always been fascinated with a discussion I had with him personally, but he also wrote about it, about uh, the concept of remembrance in the communion liturgy. You know um, the scripture, of course, uh, where Jesus said, uh, do this in remembrance of me. And um, he talks about how they almost put in the liturgy or translated that to say experience anew. We experience anew uh, that life at the table. And he talked about, in his writing anyway, uh, how that's very, very reflective of Wesley's communion spirituality. We experience it anew. And I pray and hope that not just through the table, but in waking us up every morning, we experience anew the very old love of God. Do you, do you pray new every morning is your love, great God of light, knowing that we experience it anew? Um, that leads me back to, again, to that communion scripture. I'd like to close uh, that phrase that Jesus says. It's in Mark chapter 14. And one of the things I guess that helps me experience the love of God anew is to remember that when Jesus gathered his disciples at the table, when Jesus instituted Holy Communion, when he gathered for the Passover meal, what we might call a Seder now, uh, and uh, transformed that moment or expanded that moment into being not only about the freedom God brings to Israel, but the freedom God brings to all God's people. Jesus said something that you may not have really thought about. He said, do this in remembrance of me. Now, here's what's phenomenal about that to me. He didn't say do this in remembrance of this meal. He didn't say do this to remember this meal or do this to remember this ritual or do this to remember the Passover that I'm tr now transforming by changing some of the words. Or and, and he didn't say do this to remember this conflict that I'm facing by those who are trying to take me down. 
He said, do this in remembrance of me, all of me, all of my love, all of who I am, all of the gospel story. Do this action, this momentary action, in remembrance of me so you experience my love anew. So that's what that phrase in the prayer means for me. New every morning is your love, great God of light. And I hope that in some special way today, you can experience the love of God anew and in some fresh uh, and spirited way. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you have a blessed middle of the week.